What's up Capricorn, it's the soul and Capricorn, we're gonna look at some energies for you starting uh, November 14th and then November 20th, 2022. The messages will be for Capricorn suns, moons, risings, Venuses, singles, Capricorns who are in the same sex loving energies. All right, Capricorn, I hope all is well. This week I'm using the um, DC Tarot comic uh, to, yeah, DC comic tarot to deliver your messages. Um, this is a new deck for me. All cards are in the upright. There are no reversals. And this week, I'm just going to compliment the reading and energies with an oracle message from the universe has your back. Okay, so um, tomorrow is midterms. Don't forget to um, vote. Uh, and also, too, uh, I think it's 6.08 a.m. Is it Eastern time? There's a lunar eclipse. That's going to be a powerful eclipse. It may make a difference in um, how the elections um, come about because it's prior to voting. You know, if it's 6.08 6 a.m., I don't know if it's Eastern or however they're calculating that, but it's supposed to be the start. The eclipse happens prior to the polls opening, basically. So that might have a lot to do with um, the energy for the day, okay? So anyway, let's get underway here with your uh, reading here. Three good cuts. I want to start. All right, so Capricorn, we're going to open up with the King of Cups, the father of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive, intuitive. Pay attention to your intuition this, e this week. I'm sorry. Um, very emotional. Has a lot of love to offer. This could be just the emotional state of being for you guys um, and how your week proceeds. Definitely um, the King would represent, uh, could be, you know, new relations. Yeah, new relationships being formed, romantic and platonic for sure. Um, so yeah, when you're, um, going about your week, just make sure that, you know, um, this person or this court card here, the King of Cups is all about that, uh, intuitive stuff. So pay attention to your gut, your, you know, the voices that you hear, um, you know, they're there to help guide you to make the right choices and decisions for your life. <coughs> okay. So, um, Cancer Scorpio and Pisces represents that King of Cups. Next up is the, uh, Na oh, got the nine of swords. Now I just went off and spoke about how Scorpio, I did their video. They have the three of swords and the tower and they were right next to each other. And I always tell you when the nine of swords, three of swords and the tower shows up, it is here for somebody. So, you know, the nine of swords here represents some sort of inner conflict here. It follows the court card, the king of cups. So it may be that someone is having some sort of unresolved inner conflict and it's involving a person or persons. This could be a family member. This definitely could be a uh, romantic partner. It could also be a friend. So, you know, you bring up to the surface and what needs to be uh, resolved is could be something that was recent in your recent past, or it could be your distant past. Nine of Swords is all about overthinking. Maybe you're overthinking about this person, um, whoever this person may be. You're giving too much thought or too much energy to them. Uh, sort of cut back. Uh, this is still a card that represents lying, being lied to, being uh, betrayed, being cheated on, having some sort of affair, seeking some sort of relief, okay? Outside of your normal, um, this could be, um, you know, someone who has a high degree of, uh, you know, anxiety and depression. So you may be uh, on prescribed medications, you know, for anxiety and depression. I'm not diagnosing. I'm just, you know, I always get that feel with the nine of swords. And then also, too, it could be that someone is reaching for uh, some external relief, like, you know, drinking, smoking, could be gambling or whatever. It's not the devil. But it's some kind of relief to relieve you of the burden of having to deal with some sort of unresolved conflict. And it is dealing with uh, a person or another person or persons. OK, so whoever this person or persons are, this nine of swords is here asking you to try to, get, you know, get to resolve it. Also, too, I get with the nine of swords um, incarceration. So it may not be that you are incarcerated, but it may be that. You, Capricorn, know someone who is. Now, whether or not that person is a love attachment, that remains to be seen. You know, I'm reading generally here, so, you know, I'm just spitting out some sort of messages, but that might be a message for somebody. Nine of Swords here represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You're overly thinking about something 
it is someone okay you could be nervous or worried uh and concerned as well next up is the five of cups see the five of cups is about a dis uh, disappointment emotional loss it's temporary energy could be you know some sort of uh sudden move that takes over uh you during the week could be um not involving anyone in particular even though it does mirror the court card the king of cups so i feel that with these three cards that i have just thrown here they have some sort of synchronicity going on here so this could be if it ain't you capricorn is somebody in the family it could be a romantic partner it could be a friend if it is you though however it could be just you having to be disappointed or just go through some sort of bout or period of mood swings where the brain is trying to make some sort of adjustments and that to me is perfectly normal okay to have uh, some type of mood and feel some type of way. It's not the type of energy, though, however, is going to stick around uh, too long. So you're not going to be feeling down in the dumps uh, for too long if this is something that is um, going to personally affect you because it is a five. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And next up is the High Priestess. Secrets being kept. Opposites attract. This is, again, pay attention to your intuition. Uh, you could meet somebody new, you know, when it comes to uh, relationships, uh, Romantic specifically could be pl uh, platonic. This person, though, however, has some sort of substantial difference. Uh, there's some sort of substantial differences between you. Age, race, it could be a uh, different religion, live in a different state, city, town, or country. Uh, so the high priestess here is someone is liking you or crushing on you, or you could be liking or crushing on someone else. Someone is withholding secrets here. Now, we got more cards to uh, reveal here for you, Capricorn. If that moon or that seven of cups shows up, then it may be that this week that, you know, you find out who is liking you and or is crushing you. All right. So uh, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio represents the major arcana, the high priestess. Now we have the Three of Pentacles, and this is part of your energy. This is the collaboration card. This is working uh, together with someone. It could be by yourself. This could be a small pay raise coming in. This is usually, um, I always pick up that you're introduced to somebody new. Now, that could be a possibility. Uh, it could be in the workplace environment as being introduced to a new coworker, or because it mirrors that King of Cups, it could be uh, someone else. All right, so either you're working towards something, um, Capricorn on your own or you're in cahoots with someone else and this could be in the workplace environment and outside of the workplace environment this is workplace attraction so you could be attracted to somebody that you're working with or they're attracted to you okay so this is a good card the energies go up for Monday so by Wednesday three days then you may get some sort of recognition for some work that you've done a thank you or congratulations or a pat on the back uh, from something you've done in your recent past, all right? So this is usually a card that uh, merits some sort of reward. So uh, following the Three of Pentacles here, now we have the uh, Six of Swords, okay? Six of Swords is some sort of stressful energy that is about to uh, move away from you. If it is connected to that Nine of Swords, then that may be it. I just mentioned that, you know, the cards that I lay down in sequential order doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to open up that way. The energy can open up any way that it wants to express itself. And so you look at the nine of swords here. If that's the high tension, high, you know, high degree of stress, then you're dealing with it. You're going to be dealing with it. You may, you know, take a bout of, um, you know, picking up some of the five of cups energy, but then you figure something out here and then, the Six of Swords is always that type of energy that says, okay, well, I've dealt with it. I figured it out. Now that energy is about to pass or move away from you. You're moving into clearer, calmer passages. This is also a traveling card. So you could be traveling, whether it's work-related or vacationing. So you pass it to, so you pass it from. The... Um, Six of Swords always give me, gives me relocation, So, but also, too, could also be purchasing a home <laughs> for whatever reason. All right, so that Six of Swords here represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Up next, we have the King of Wands, always focused on something or someone, passionate, intense, things heating up. I feel that there could be some sort of conflict going on here with a Capricorn, specifically with a fire sign, because this uh, court card sits right underneath this Nine of Swords. And then we have the King of Cups. So emotions are being played here, okay? Somebody may be either playing with your emotions, all right? 
or something else is going on. But anyway, by itself, the King of Wands is very intense. Sexual energy, sexual pa uh, passion. This is an attraction card. So you're either attracting some energy to you or someone is being attracted towards you. Now, we do have the high priestess here. So that could be somebody who is liking you or crushing you. And you may not know about this energy just yet. All right. So the King of Wands, very intense. Um... So it's here for you, and it represents fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Now we have the uh, Six of Cups, okay, going down memory lane. Um, Six of Cups is going down memory lane. Somebody is thinking of you highly, emotionally. Now, and this is an open general reading, so it could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be somebody that you were romantically linked to that you haven't seen in a while. Well, they're thinking of you right now, okay? So the Six of Cups, there may be some sort of contact or reaching out. It could be that you're just, you know, on your own, going down memory lane, thinking of things in your childhood when things were, you know, more peaceful, more um, better for you and um, stress free. You could also be memorializing someone who is no longer here, but they're now over in the spiritual realm. Underneath that five of cups, that would warrant sadness, that would warrant tears for someone who were you uh, once were close with, but now they're not here. The dates may be significant to their passing or their birth, November 14th through November 20th. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represents the Six of Cups. Up next now, we have the Star card, Hopes, Wishes, and Dreams. Socializing, social networking. This is, too, a relationship card. Uh, this is also about manifestation. Uh, so, yeah, definitely pay attention to your, um, you know, your intuition and all of that stuff. This is... Um, a card that represents psychic uh, abilities. You could meet somebody famous during this week. It mirrors the King of Wands. So it's a court card. So you could meet somebody, a star. Just make sure that you're focused on one or two things this week, Capricorn. Don't have your energy scattered all over the place. Um, so yeah, the star card here is very, very positive and powerful. And then the um, social networking, building up alliances, meeting new people. Again, mirrors the uh, King of Wands. So there could be online dating. Anything related to work-related matters. More social act interactions going on. Final card here for you. Um, Capricorn. Oh, see? I'm sorry. I, you know, I, don't, I need to stop saying I'm sorry. I make no apologies for these cards that turn up here. Now you have the tower. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I just said in uh, Scorpio's video, it may be something that is solely... Um, you know, connected to the elections, the midterms tomorrow, shocking news, okay? There is an element of some sort of shocking news that will be received, some sort of disturbance. It still would warrant, you know, um, arguments, could be arguments or quarreling going on. Now, that could be in the family because it cross mirrors over here to the family card, the family man, the king of cups. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it still could represent our weather, um, you know, having to experience some sort of earthquakes, you know, um, fires, it could be shootings. It could be almost anything. The, the tower is, you know, now you, the, listen, you got the nine of swords and the tower. Scorpio had the three of swords and the tower. So again, it's like when it, they, these energies present themselves, it's going to be for something for someone. Okay. If it's not done or if it's not something that impacts you on a personal level, it could be just all of what I said related to the midterms, the, you know, the elections, something shocking happening, you know. Um, I do feel that the tower underneath the three of pentacles, however positive that is, there could be some sort of changes going on with someone's work. Okay, now that could be... Um, that could almost be anything. I could throw anything here at you, Capricorn. That could be like uh, termination. That could be layoffs. Okay. It's an impact of um, something that you can't control. And it brings about the destruction or the chaos. Of something that's very shocking. All right. So let's see what you got in your shadow, uh, shadow here. And don't forget the star card here and the high priestess. Both will take down some of this energy of the tower. So, and then the Empress, because you have that in your um, shadow as well. So you got the Empress and the Hangman is neutral. 
Major Arcana, and then you have your own energy, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, okay, so this is a blessing. So let's start with the Empress here. The Empress is about growth, development, expansion, pregnancy news, childbirth. This could be, you know, making some sort of changes when it comes to your diet and your health, um, inner beauty, outer beauty, taking care of that. This is Mother Nature. So you could be spending some time outdoors, uh, enjoying Mother Nature and God's beauty. Um, also to, um, it's a card of love. It's a card of peace. It's a relationship card. So new developments, uh, when it comes to those relationships, remember the key words here are something growing, something expanding. That could be a relationship. That could be a business. <gasps> Excuse me. That could be almost anything you can apply this energy to. Okay. This is very powerful to receive. And again, it takes down the energy of that tower. Now the hangman, however, is neutral to me. So it's hanging things hanging in the balance. Um, with the nine of swords, six of swords showing up here, those still would present challenges and decision making. So, you know, you have all the time in the world. Uh, there's no need to rush. Um, and this is the reason why the hangman is here. Hangman is neutral. The last card is your own card, the inheritance card. Okay. Uh, the abundance card, money coming in large sums of money. This could be playing a lottery. No one has hit that $1.9 billion dollar uh powerball yet so play the lottery but play responsibly if this is the absence of money capricorn it's just you feeling abundant you're being well taken care of you know you're being provided for whether you're doing it on your own being self-sufficient or you're being you know taken care of through mutual respect and love through family members romantic partners could be friends too okay Still could be a pay raise, substantial pay raise uh, coming in. There's some sort of element of money coming in for um, Capricorn this week. Because you guys are working hard or you always work hard. But now I think that, you know, because of the Ten of Pentacles, it's time to get the payout. Okay. So again, in your shadow is the uh, Empress, the uh, Hangman, and then the Ten of Pentacles representing you, Taurus and Virgo. All right. So that's what you have for this week. This is what I have for you, I should say. And uh, again, you know, your focus shouldn't be so much on the nine of uh, swords or the tower um, because you have other uh, positive energy surrounding that energy. So we'll just see. Okay. And remember, you know, this is just me interpreting the cards and the energies as I see what could possibly go on for you guys. And, you know, <clears throat> That's it. Okay, so your Oracle card message, uh, Capricorn. If I can get it up. Okay. It says here, when I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Okay, that's your Oracle message for this week. Thank you, Capricorn. Uh, please give this uh, video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And um, just be safe this week. Uh, go out to vote, you know, exercise your voice uh, to be heard. And... Um, you should be all right, okay? Keep smiling for me, and I'm going to talk to you real soon. Take care. Bye.